actually have a zombie organ trail you can play online now. Yeah, oh, it's, wow. it's called Organ Trail. Nice. Or you, you organ have to trail. you have to take your station wagon across the country to get to safety. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh, that's yeah. crazy. I don't know if it's still available or not. It's been years it's since I played a, it. Yeah, it's been a couple years since I played it. I've got two new features for this episode. We'll we'll do them both. But one now and then one later in the episode. Okay. So I'm going to let you all pick which one you want now. We have predictive text story time and finally got around to watching reviews. Predictive text story time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so for those who don't know, um, Yay. there a website called Botnik, I yes. believe is what it's called. Botnik. Um, recently, they... Is that named after Dr. Robotnik? <laughs> not sure. Sonic the Hedgehog. Not sure, but it might Could be. be. But they they became kind of you know fifteen minute celebrities recently when they released this new chapter of Harry Potter that their predictive text program had written, and it is one of the greatest things I've ever read in my entire life. It's fantastic. It's the best. But they have this app online where you can use it, and mm-hmm. they've got a bunch of source text to pull from. And so for this particular one, I loaded up Elephant Facts. And I would like to present to you now a set of little known elephant facts. <laughs> and I I did this specifically because I knew how much the wife the likes The wife elephants. is like, she is positively giddy I'm right kidding. now. Like she is grinning ear Aww. to ear. Like her nose is crinkled up. <laughs> it's the best. So... Little known elephant facts. Elephants are used to attack and defend the same family. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> I, it's kind of strange, but you know, I mean, sometimes I guess, hey, people switch sides all the time. So <laughs> they, they have to defend the family. This next one gets a little serious. They appear to be religious, but cannot coexist with some trainers. I've heard this about them. That's that's true. This one is interesting, and I think it actually leads to something we all know about. It says, once adult elephants have been recorded killing, they are trained to perform tricks for the people. <laughs> so, we all know that recently they stopped using elephants in circuses. Mm-hmm. Well, everybody thought it was for the protection of the elephants, but clearly, they're trying to curb this kind of behavior. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Where, oh, that elephant killed somebody. Let's put him in the circus so he can do some tricks. Works for me. So, all of all of those elephants that you're trying to defend and be like, oh, they shouldn't have to work in the circus. They're being mistreated. They're murderers. <laughs> murderers. Somebody died for that elephant to be able to stand on two feet. And hold somebody up with his other foot. <laughs> with a with an umbrella in his trunk. Right. <laughs> At what cost? At what cost? This one, I think we all kind of knew. It says, sometimes smaller elephants are used to manipulate the United States into providing support for conservation. <laughs> <laughs> they are not wrong. Yeah, I, I, I think everybody kind of knew Adorable that. Adorable not... pictures of elephants, baby. Elephants trying to take a bath in a bucket. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure why that. Of the angels. <laughs> I'm not sure why that got thrown in with the little known facts because, like I said, I think everybody knows that. Yeah. When removed from their aquatic ancestry, elephants live in southern places, <laughs> which is why there's such a a high elephant population in like Georgia, yeah. for example. <laughs> Yeah. It explains a lot. Explains um, a lot. Well, that's that's what the ears were originally for. They were flippers. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the trunk and was the trunk used was the to, snorkel. To, as a snorkel. Look, we, we've all seen, device. it's like the, the periscope. They use it like a periscope. <laughs> yes, we've seen this depicted in cartoons. Why yeah. is this a little known fact? Uh-huh. <laughs> it was the southern migration that was little known. That's what it was. That, that's probably what it is. Baby elephants have traditionally been observed modifying population densities during mild competition. That's when the baby (laughs) elephant goes on a rampage and like sets the entire village on fire. (laughs) They modify that population really fast. I I just and then they get scoby in the circus. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting that they had competitions that involved population densities and and yeah. I mean, well, it's it's. 
this is something that not everybody knows. Elephants actually like compete to see who gets those spots to go into the circus. And the one that murders the most uh, villagers gets that spot. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That's that's pretty much how they, they get that spot in Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. I mean, so, there's only so much room in the circus yeah. trains. <laughs> right. So they started, they started out when they're young and they, they start their murder spree. Yeah. This might seem strange, but it is more costly to buy another train car than it is to actually take care of a murderous elephant. And so they're just, you know, you they, don't, you don't have they to, had to weigh the cost and they're like, we can only have so many. So we've got to, right. you don't have to line. feed them because they'll eat their handlers after they kill yeah. Because they appear religious. But, I mean, but, but they're not. They don't like their trainers. <laughs> and so here is the last one. And this is a bit of a shocker. <laughs> I I didn't know this. And I imagine that few of our listeners will. The most famous elephant is named Wooly. And he loves the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Wooly loves the ladies. Wooly loves the ladies. I think... That's where Chuck Woolery got his his stage name. Because uh, we'll be back in two and two. Yeah. And love connection. Um, for the, the listeners that are, uh, you know, under the age of 37 and don't know who Chuck Woolery is. Google. Yeah, Google Wikipedia. that. Who is your friend? Um, so is Woolery, it, it, he's pretty mammoth, huh? I, mm-hmm. I heard he's pretty mammoth. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah, I think that, didn't they make like a... a some sort of um, documentary about him. Um, Ice and Age. Have, he he Ice. he was the yeah. direct. He was actually he was the re- direct ancestor of tro- Topsy. They're the reason why the elephants are so murderous because they really just want to take revenge on everybody for Topsy. Poor Topsy. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Can we have a moment of silence for Topsy? Not to say that's great. <laughs> They'll say, oh, Topsy at my, oh, Topsy. <laughs> that was Little Known Elephant Facts, and this has been Predictive Tech story time. <laughs> very nice. Hey. It was very educational. That was delightful. That was more weird news. Sounds good. This story comes out of China, and it is significantly more pleasant than the last story we had from China. <laughs> and I am, I'm not even going to attempt... To pronounce anything at the, the start of this, where they identify <laughs> the person and the city and all that, is a 28 year old man who had plenty of time to consider traffic patterns as he waited for the lights to change during his daily commute. So much, in fact, that he decided to take matters into his own hands and paint new traffic arrows on the roadway. A, a traffic camera captured the whole project as he carefully added a straight arrow to the existing left turn and U-turn arrows. <laughs> he says, I saw the straight lane was always packed with cars, while the turning left lane had a lot of space. So I thought changing the signs would make my commute smoother. Well, makes sense. The makes uh, perfect sense. This, this in part is the most amazing thing to me. The BBC reports that police fined him the equivalent of $151, and then crews removed the straight arrow from the road. The fact that it was that little baffles me. $151 wow. yeah. to deface city property? I mean, a lot more here. Well, well, I mean, potentially cause all kinds of traffic Potential problems. manslaughter. Okay. If, you know, hey. I have a friend that... You have uh, a lot of friends. She, she has recently started... I don't believe you have uh, this many friends. I think these friends are you. No. <laughs> well, once I tell this story, you're going to know which friend it is, but I'm not going to out her. I probably um, do. I have a friend who recently separated from her husband, and she's been dating online. And one of the people that she met online and has been had been talking to was from China. So they were discussing things, and he asked her about how much she makes a year. And he did the currency conversion. He owns his own business, has his own house, supports his own household of him, his son, and his mother and father, plus his ex-wife. She makes five times as much as him. Wow. Wow. 
So she makes about $19 an hour. So that would probably be why it's only $151 because he's doing pretty well wow, sounds like on I, a fifth of her income. I didn't realize the cost of living in China was so yeah. low, though. I mean, yeah. that's crazy. Here's another Ask Reddit. What's very cheap today but will be very expensive in 20 years? Comparatively, probably um, gas. Because gas, when I started driving... Uh, what, like 17 years ago? That was, uh, it was less than a dollar a gallon. I wonder when we're going to get to the point where we realize that there's a limited amount of helium on this earth. Oh, they've already realized it. And we're no longer going to be selling balloons full of yeah, it. Yeah, helium's a good one. Yeah, uh, Yeah, I mean, it's it's already like, they're already wondering if they should start regulating it more. a finite mm-hmm. amount of helium. You can't just create it. Yeah. And right. but it still cost only cost like a quarter a balloon to go get it mm-hmm. blown up, or you can buy tanks full of it for twenty bucks. We'll be telling our great grandkids, yeah, when I was a little boy, we had balloons that floated, and you could suck it, and and then and, you could talk funny, and you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, Grandpa, we know what you're talking about. Shut up, <laughs> Grandpa's crazy. <laughs> balloons don't float. <laughs> <laughs> what about natural gas? Yeah, I think I feel like because it's it's pretty. I mean, it's cheap to be. On gas now, but I think fossil fuels eventually. Yeah, it's gonna I, go I don't know if up up twenty years is is long enough time frame for that to happen, but I think eventually. Well, that's I think. Gonna go. I mean, yeah. gasoline has gone up considerably since you know over the last twenty years, so I think it's feasible that natural gas can probably just follow. Soon. Well, but if you look at trends, the cost of living <laughs> has mm-hmm. gone up astronomically. Over the last 20 years, I wonder how it's going to be in 20 years from now. I, I also think another thing that's going to be more expensive is, is socks. Socks? Okay. Mm-hmm. Socks. Do you care to explain? No, just socks. Socks, huh? Because why not? When I think about that, I think of the inverse of like things that are relatively expensive now that I think will be cheaper in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Pretty well, much any kind of electronic. I oh, think. yeah. Absolutely. Electronics. Like our TV that we have now uh, costs less than half if you buy the same one, same size, same brand. Well, the crazy thing about that is you can't buy the same one now. The one we would get now is exceptionally better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. For and half still the half cost. the price. Yeah. Yeah. 